So these are the two shocks right here, right? I hope. 2012 Hyundai Accent. Hyundai Accent. Hi, there we go. And those are the shocks. Right on. As you can see here, I've attached the base of the jack stand to the support bar that you have right under there. Have it centered out. And you can see within here, your strut system and then right over here this is the shock that we're going to be replacing now notice how dusty this is and how clean this well it looks clean it's shiny it's because there's oil all over that as far as the um, hydraulic fluid that was inside that shock it ruptured and it's all over so we're gonna have to replace that but at the same time we're gonna to have to replace the other one on the other side as well so let's go ahead and get this jacked up and we'll get our chocks put in right there for safety. And then we will get these tires off and get to work. When I get it lifted up, just take that and just slide it underneath. And then that will help for the support and we'll do it to the other side as well. Okay, there we go. And should it stick out a little bit like that? Yeah, or? you should have a little bit sticking out on each side. Okay, I see okay. the metal. I see the metal. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and grab this side over here. See if it's level. Oh, it hurts. Perfect. So you got the clearance on that? Yep. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll slowly let the pressure off of here. Okay, perfect. And then again, we're going to leave this jack stand in place. Yes. Just to give that extra support. Safety, sir. And then let's take the tires off. All right. All right, yeah. So we got it jacked up. For right now, we're replacing this. And let's just take a quick look at it here and see what we're up against. Whoops. Okay, better angle shot. Okay, so it looks like we have a bolt under here that needs to be removed. Okay, so we're, yeah, I can get that with the uh, socket just easily. And then up in here, conveniently, they have it on the other side for this one. So we're gonna pull these two out on opposite sides. Okay, right over here. I'm sure this probably, I don't know what this does, but anyway, we're gonna take this out. We'll check the size on it as well and see what's going on. Oh, look at that, some of that fluid just uh, dropped on me right there so you can actually witness the leaking as it's occurring. All right, let's get back to it. And it's recording. This is a really tight spot. So I'm gonna use the uh, ratchet right here with a 19 millimeter socket and I'm using the extension off the uh, jack handle to put it into here to give it better leverage. This is the best way to break a torque. Or a ratchet. I think we got it here. Yep. So once you get it going, at that point, you can take this out and save yourself a lot of back strain. Mm. And now it's just much easier to take off. And that's all set. Now we're just gonna loosen that for right now. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the bottom one in just a moment. Okay, we have the bottom bolt already loosened up. Again, it's the same size, 19 millimeter. This thing is leaking right here again, as I said before. Look at that. See what happens? It just keeps leaking out. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen this up. 
and remove this nut. I'm gonna use both hands here, so I'm gonna stop recording in just a moment. And then we're gonna grab that top one, pull it out and take a look at this puppy. So once the two bolts are loose, let's see if I can position this to where you can see what's going on as I'm doing it. Oh, well, that's a nice shot right there. Okay, so again, this nut just comes off right here. Just go ahead and drop that to the side. And then this just pulls right out. And that's really what you have attaching your shock. Again, it's just this right up in here. So just remember how that goes. Goes in in this direction. If you want, you could even just leave it in there and make it a no-brainer when you come back to do it. Or just pull it out, and that way you've got plenty of room to work with up in here. Is it a high voltage or low voltage shock? John, I find that question utterly shocking. <laughs> okay, let me see here. All right, now we're going to take out this bolt. John, if you can hold this for me, I appreciate it. I'm just going to. Let me get the corner. There we go. All right, now. screwed in it's uh, screwed into a permanent mount on the other side oh, I see once that releases from the thread I should be able to just pull this right right there we go okay nice let's get that excellent job and Bingo. here's our nice little oily broken broken shock they We're should gonna... they shouldn't put dirt mounds in the side of the road they shouldn't uh, they should make me try to drive over them so let's recap what we've done here so far for the viewer. We took out the bottom bolt. Again, uh, that has a nut on the other side. That goes to the bottom part of the shock. The top part is just one long bolt that screws into a permanent thread that's in the back part of the shock here. Uh, so far, uh, at this point, you can take a look at any brake lines, uh, the rotor, check the brake pads themselves to see if there's some good pad on here. And there is some very good pad on here. Nice. You can also go through and check the emergency brakes as well to see how they're working. I'm hearing a little bit of Scrape. scraping in there, so that's a good thing. Uh, if the emergency brakes are depressing way too much, that means that you've got some worn tread in here and that you need to go through and adjust it. Not this, but there's an adjuster in here where you can adjust your uh, threads and then, or I mean your brake pads and bring them out to where it just catches the tire. But this sounds good. All right, so now both sides are the same up in here. So we're gonna go ahead and put that up and get my long, long bolt. So it doesn't matter because it twists if you need to adjust it. Exactly. Okay. the most difficult part, lining that up. Let me screw that thing back in right here. Yeah, you just gotta jiggle it around, but the threads have definitely caught this. So that's good. We're good to go there. Excellent. Let's go ahead and get this. Now you said the threads, the, the one that pops out like this the round big one goes yeah sticking out yeah it's uh, so it's sticking out in this direction yes sir okay that means that we need to get this pumped in here a little bit there we go and now the time is <laughs> time to bang a gong Have a little upward pressure on this and try to get that squeezed. There we go. Okay. All your might. Yeah, because you have to put a little pressure on there and then this is pointed so it kind of helps you get inside there. And then again, just bring that nut back on. Do you want me to go on the other side and too late now? And oh no, it's, I mean, it's. 
self-explanatory. It's fine. It's fine. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tighten up these nuts to where they're just very snug. Put a little bit extra torque on it with that, with that bar that we had so we know they're in there nice and secure. And as far as this side is concerned, this is how you replace the shock. So really all we have left now is just to tighten up these two areas, uh, put the tire back on, and this side is done. So that's, that's about it as far as replacing a shock on this side of the car. We'll do the other side real quick, and then we'll lower it and see how it looks. And, and by the way, the other side is going to be exactly the same as this side. No reason to do both sides on camera, but we will uh, show the lowering part of it and uh, how it performs. Great. Okay, well, we've got both sides done. That was a side that we were just working on. And again, everything was exactly the same on the other side over here as well. There's the old shock for the one that we just took off. So with the bolts now just really just tightened the most you can with it on there, we're gonna lower it back down just to the point to where the wheels, ah, let me get this in here. Well, I didn't really wanna do it like that, but since it's like that, we'll go ahead and take it out. That was fast. Now, let me go back through here and tighten this up and we'll see where we're at.